Yeah, well, good afternoon to everyone. Let me start by thanking uh, ODI and Andy in particular for inviting us and giving us a, a chance to uh, um, present this, this um, newly released book. I think it was um, just uh, came out fresh out of the press uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and um, I'll be really brief. Um, I'll, I just want to give you um, a quick background to why we did this study and, and, and what is uh, its significance. Um, is I suspect that for some of you, it may be strange to see um, the World Bank, or you may not associate the World Bank um, with uh, this kind of, of, of literature and, and issue. So I think it deserves a little bit of, of background. Um, and um, as I always uh, like to, to, to preface, uh, we in the human development part of, of the bank are really focused on improving the quality of service delivery um, in uh, uh, working with governments to improve the quality of service delivery in our sectors, which include health, uh, nutrition, population, education, social protection more generally. And I think for many years, I think it has become very clear that um, the service delivery in, in developing countries is often characterized by a number of, of failures, uh, which uh, then result in, in poor outcomes. And uh, a key issue or key challenge that we face is how to improve uh, accountability on the part of providers and uh, policymakers vis-a-vis um, -vis um, uh, citizens and users. This has been a theme th since uh, the uh, World Development Report uh, that of 2004. Now, um, over the years, there's been increasing interest on what we call social accountability uh, measures, which essentially, uh, as uh, you'll hear more how we define it, but it involves uh, the direct participation of users uh, in, in their interaction with uh, uh, providers, particularly in the way of, of uh, through access to information and being able to enforce uh, better performance. Um, this increasing interest uh, happens at various levels. It happens uh, mostly, I would say, at the rhetorical level in terms of people talking about it, uh, but it happens, it permeates down to the operational level, as um, Dina will, will, will show. Um, this has actually, over the last uh, year, um, has uh, a, the interest and, and at least the rhetoric has uh, acquired even more prominence uh, with the uh, events in the Middle East where there has been uh, growing uh, a, a discussion about the role of, of, of citizens and, uh, and accountability um, in, in, um, in, in a range of contexts. Um, so we set up basically to write this book as a way of taking stock of what, on the one hand, the World Bank was doing operationally uh, on, on these issues, to what extent uh, we were indeed doing it and, and what were the lessons coming from that, but more generally to try to look at the evidence of um, a impact and results associated with uh, such interventions. Um, we have, uh, I should mention, quite a bit of an emphasis in our work on um, in using impact evaluation studies to actually uh, measure the uh, results of, of, of programs and, and we had a particular interest in looking at what that evidence may or may not say about social accountability. I don't want to give away uh, the, uh, uh, the punchline uh, and let uh, uh, the mystery uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, survive for a few more minutes. Uh, but um, let me just conclude by saying that uh, from a personal point of view, a, a key uh, message that I take from, um, from this work um, is the uh, really critical importance of us to continue uh, supporting experimentation and putting a heavy emphasis on generating robust evidence uh, through evaluation of everything we do in this area. Um, the, um, I think the, the book, as you will see uh, after the presentation, gives us uh, quite a, um, sort of a, a lot of material to, to argue for this and to argue with uh, internally and with our clients 
for the need to, uh, to uh, go deeper in our understanding of how these mechanisms really operate. And I hope that um, indeed uh, that uh, uh, those arguments will materialize and we'll be able to, um, in a couple of years more, uh, come back with uh, a new version uh, <laughs> that provides even uh, more evidence. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.